Our saga begins in fall 2016, Boston, Massachusetts, Harvard Business School. And while they may not have been attending the same events on campus, fate intervenes by planning a group trip to Portland, Maine. Matt remembers seeing Jen get out of the car for the first time and immediately noticing her bright smile. We were talking about Jen, how wonderful she was, and they said, you know, Dad, I gotta tell you, they both said this, we like Matt a lot more when he's with Jen. Jen brings out a different side of Matt, one that's calmer, more caring, and somehow even more loyal. The 2,900 miles between Chelsea and the hate are long. <laughs> and sometimes you don't know when to commit and go for broke versus when to wait and see. So after a few whirlwind cross-country trips, this ambiguity around long-term location leads Matt and Jen to hit the pause button. Sometimes it just takes a once-in-a-century respiratory disease to really put things in perspective. <laughs> it's at this moment, with chaos and uncertainty swirling, that Matt decides to take another swing. He orchestrates a Zoom reunion for that Portland main trip as pretext for seeing Jen. After a successful, if fraudulent, group chat, Matt musters up the courage, calls Jen, and asks her to give another shot. Jen, following some deliberations, says, all right, let's see where this might go. And in these strange times, a romance for the ages begins to flourish. She started kind of easing in and talking about Matt. And it was so different. It was this respectful, I thought loving, there's a future there kind of thing. I, I get goosebumps right now thinking about it. You have families, you have multiple families, whether it be our own blood relatives or every group that you've met so far. Everyone really looks up to you. You have this natural calmness about you that makes people feel at ease. My girls fell in love with Matt instantly. After a few visits with Jen and Matt, Reese and Sawyer turned to me and say, Mom, Jen picked a really good guy. I winked and said, I couldn't agree with you guys more. Matt, growing up, you were our biggest role model. Thank you for giving us someone else to look up to. Looking back, I'm not sure anyone had a better pandemic than Matt. Shaved a couple points off his handicap, learned to play the guitar, kinda, and landed the woman of his dreams. If someone had told me when we met five years ago that we would end up standing here together today, I think I would have believed them. From the moment we met, I have felt a sense of ease and comfort and naturalness that I haven't felt with anyone else. It's what led to something feeling different after we finally kissed on that disgusting floor mic and made me feel confident in choosing to move across the country to start our lives together. And while that ease is what grounds me when life is challenging, when we're going through big changes, now it's what we've built from that ease that I love, that I'm so proud of. From that ease, we've built a strength in our differences, an appreciation for what we share, and a future we've dreamed up together. It's our differences that I love. Early on, they intimidated me. We lived on opposite coasts, didn't share a lot of interests. But you taught me that it's not about the fact that we have differences. It's about how we invest in them for each other. I've heard that marriage is work. <laughs> Choosing to sacrifice and commit over and over to the other person. It makes me feel that no matter where we need to be for the other, we will be there. We share a deep love for our families. We both drive a lot of our individual identities from who we are in our family, and I feel so lucky that we fell into each other's as if we'd known them our whole lives. You make me feel like myself, seen and loved in a way that feels familial and unconditional and supportive. It's the life we've dreamed up for ourselves that I love. I promise to continue to push you out of your comfort zone. I promise to love you and support you unconditionally, supportively, familially. I promise to do everything in my power to make our dreams a reality. And I promise to enjoy every moment we are lucky enough to do life together. What I remember most about the first time we met in Portland, Maine, is that your smile absolutely floored me. You were so gorgeous and happy and magnetic, and your smile was quite literally infectious. The whole weekend, all I wanted to do was make you smile. We became fast friends. Now, I didn't learn until later 
that the easiest way to make you smile is to let you tell your own jokes. <laughs> because every time you do, you laugh, basically while telling the joke, and say, pretty funny, right? <laughs> You're the most considerate, caring, and selfless person I know. To the point that you drive yourself sometimes to literal exhaustion for others. I say this a lot, but your energy is your superpower. And I'll always do everything in my power to continue to give you more. You're my best friend, and no matter what happens to me during the day, I look forward to opening the door and seeing you smile because when I do, I immediately forget about everything that could have happened in my life. I promise to push you and support you to achieve everything you want, personally and professionally, while reminding you to look around and cherish what we already have in our incredible lives. I promise to always stress the importance of family, our existing one and the one we will start together, and to put you and our family first. Further ado, by the power vested in me by the internet, I now pronounce you husband and wife. I'll let you guys take a few.